next appearance is set for March 14th. Lorenda Redekop, CBC News, Toronto. To Washington now, where U.S. President Donald Trump was talking tough on guns. We're determined to turn our grief into action. I really believe that. In a meeting with members of Congress, Trump said he was open to raising the age limit on buying assault-style weapons. And the president says he favors strengthening background checks on gun buyers. But he's still suggesting the only solution to school shootings is arming teachers rather than limiting gun ownership. I really believe that those people... It's idealistic, it's wonderful, it's a beautiful thing. But if you think that somebody's going to be able to walk into a school, if they feel that they're not going to have bullets coming at them from the other direction, uh, you're never going to solve the problem. I feel that. Trump has also promised to write an executive order outlawing so-called bump stocks that allow semi-automatic weapons to fire almost as quickly as automatic weapons. Another down day on the markets today. The TSX closed at 15.442. The Dow closed down as well today at 25.029. The Nasdaq closed at 72.73. And the Canadian dollar was down a bit as well. It finished at 77 cents U.S. That's the CBC News from Vancouver. For news anytime, go to cbc.ca slash bc or use the CBC News app. And now a look at the south coast weather. Rain, wet flurries over higher terrain, a high of 6 degrees. Tonight, cloudy with a 40% chance of showers. Tomorrow, that'll continue for most of the day until we move to clouds in the evening. Back to showers on Friday. Then clearing for the weekend, a mix of sun and cloud on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. But cooler in the evenings, down to zero. It's snowing in 1 in Whistler, mostly cloudy in 7 in Victoria. And in Vancouver right now, it's 5 degrees and raining lightly. Hi, I'm Nora Young. This is Spark from CBC Radio. This time, it used to be when we lost a loved one, we would go through old letters and photos to deal with our feelings. Now, we can make all the digital traces left behind into a virtual chatbot of the person who's died. We look at the rise of grief bots. And tech giants are being criticized for a lack of ethics, from addictive designs to misuse.